여러분 안녕하십니까? 지금부터 전국 15개 시도교육청이 공동으로 주관하는 2008학년도 제2회 고등학교 2학년 영어듣기 능력평가를 시작하겠습니다. 교실에 계시는 선생님들께서는 라디오의 음량을 알맞게 조절해 주시고 학생 여러분은 답안지에 반, 번호, 그리고 이름을 써넣으시기 바랍니다. 모든 문제는 한 번씩만 들려드리니 잘 듣고 지시에 따라 물음에 답하시기 바랍니다. 이제 시작하겠습니다. 1번입니다. 대화를 듣고 남자가 사려고 하는 스피커를 고르세요. May I help you? I need a set of speakers for my daughter's PC. All right. How about these apple-shaped ones? They are very cute, but too small. How about these ones? Oh, they're teddy bear shaped, but my daughter is a high school student. Then here is a brand new type. They look like a beautiful set of wine glasses. Oh, they're really unique. Hmm, I like them, but I don't think they're suitable for my daughter. Could you show me others? How about this ball-shaped one? It looks good, but I'm afraid the output is too small. Then how about these rectangular ones? They're very powerful. Perfect. I'll take them. 2번입니다. 대화를 듣고 두 사람의 관계로 가장 알맞은 것을 고르세요. Good morning, Mr. Brown. Good morning, Mrs. Johnson. How's Amy today? She's doing better. Maybe she can go back to school in a few days. Oh, is she out of the hospital? Yes, since yesterday. She's resting at home. That's good. I've been so worried about her. I appreciate your concern for my daughter. She really misses your biology class. I hope she gets well and returns to school soon. Thank you so much. You're welcome. 3번입니다. 대화를 듣고 여자가 무엇을 보고 있는지 고르세요. What are you doing so late at night, Sujin? Having trouble falling asleep? Actually, Tom, come take a look at the sky. Wow, how beautiful. It looks so big. It's because today is the 15th in the lunar calendar. I don't understand how the 15th day has anything to do with that in the sky. It says that it gets the biggest and brightest on the 15th. My family used to go outside and watch it together. Really? Yes, and my family used to make a wish on it. That's interesting. We usually make a wish on a shooting star. What's your wish tonight? I wish I pass tomorrow's exam. 4번입니다. 대화를 듣고 여자의 심경으로 가장 알맞은 것을 고르세요. You've been doing very well. You're getting closer to the world record. Really? I can't believe I ran that fast. You see, nothing's impossible if you try hard. Thanks, Mr. James. I owe everything to you. Before we finish today's practice, I have good news and bad news. Which do you want to hear first? The good news. Do you have the results from the last week's competition? Yes. You have been selected to participate in the international track competition next month. I made it! I'll break the world record this time. Now, what's the bad news? Well, you'll have no vacation this summer in order to prepare for it. I knew that was coming. Mr. James, I'm ready to start the summer practice. Don't worry! 5번입니다. 
대화를 듣고 남학생이 방학 동안에 한 일을 고르세요. Hi, j i n z u How did you spend your vacation? Well, I spent most of the time solving math problems at the library. Oh, really? Maybe you can help me with my math problems. Just kidding. I stayed home and spent the last two weeks in h e y w o n d e So you went to a beach and had a great time swimming, didn't you? Not exactly. I went to h e y u n d e but cleaned the beach. You are pulling my leg again, aren't you? Not this time. I did volunteer work there, and it was a great experience. I felt great seeing the sunrise at a clean beach. Wow! You did have a great vacation. 6번입니다. 대화를 듣고 남자가 내일 하게 될 일을 고르세요. Hello, this is Golden Coast Resort. How can I help you? My family is planning a vacation next weekend. I'd like to make a reservation there. Sure. How many members are there in your family? Four adults and three children. We do have a room available for your family, but without an ocean view. It's okay, but I have some questions. Do you have a spa for the elderly? Yes, we have an outdoor spa for adults and an indoor pool for children. Sounds great. How about restaurants? We have various restaurants such as Western, Korean, Chinese and Italian. Great. I'd like to reserve the room. Okay. We need to have you transfer 100,000 won by tomorrow. Now get it done tomorrow. 7번입니다. 대화를 듣고 머드 축제에서 남자가 한 일이 아닌 것을 고르세요. Look at this picture. You are smiling with mud all over you. It was taken at the mud festival. I had a great time sliding in the mud. Sliding in the mud? That sounds fun. I also got a mud massage and built a mud castle on the beach. What are these behind you in the picture? They are mud festival characters. They look so real. Did you make them yourself? I think they were made by the city. I just made something simple like mud soap. 8번입니다. 대화를 듣고 남자가 이용할 교통수단을 고르세요. The oil prices have skyrocketed. I cannot afford to drive my car these days. Then why not join a carpool? I have tried. Coming to work was no problem, but going home was another story. We sometimes got off work at different times and this created a problem. Well, in that case, use public transportation, like the bus. But there is no direct bus from my house to work. Have you tried taking the subway then? I have, but I needed to transfer three times. There is only one solution then. Ride a bike. I don't know how to ride a bike. I give up. I am all out of ideas. Thanks anyway. I guess I'll just have to go back to my original mode of transportation. 9번입니다. 대화를 듣고 무엇에 관한 내용인지 고르세요. Today, I feel too tired to focus on studying. Why don't you take a nap? I tried, but it didn't work. How about having some coffee? I usually have a cup whenever I feel exhausted. I drank three cups of coffee already. Too much coffee gives me a headache. Um... Then how about some simple exercises, such as walking around the neighborhood? Won't they make me more tired? Well, yes, but it will help you get a good night's sleep. Then your body will feel refreshed in the morning. That sounds like a good idea. 
10번입니다. 다음을 듣고 무엇에 관한 안내방송인지 고르세요. Good morning, students. I have an exciting announcement for you. Our school library is going to hold a book trivia contest on Saturday, September 12th. It will be a great opportunity for you to assess your summer readings. There will be two parts to the event, a quiz game and a book review discussion on the stage. You can enter by turning in an entry form at the circulation desk. The deadline is 4 p.m. September 5th. Go to the library for more information. Good luck and have a great day. 11번입니다. 대화를 듣고 오늘 수업의 주제로 알맞은 것을 고르세요. Before we begin today's lesson, let's play a quick game. Wow! That's exciting! What do we do? Everyone, close your eyes and listen to this sound. Listen carefully. Sounds like something in a bottle. Can you guess what is in the bottle? Something light and small. Is it sand? Guess again. Rice? Correct. Now, in today's lesson, we are going to study about how the sound traveled from the bottle to our ears. So, everyone, please turn to page 85. 12번입니다. 대화를 듣고 여자가 긴급 전화를 건 목적을 고르세요. Emergency Center, what can I do for you? I'm afraid there's a gas leak. What should I do? We will send an emergency team right away. Did you turn off the valve? I already did. I'm so scared. Please calm down. Are the windows open now? Yes, of course. I want to leave home right now. Just one more thing before you leave. Be sure to shut off all the power in the house. I got it. Can I use my cell phone? No. Never try to turn on any electronic devices. That might cause an explosion. 13번입니다. 대화를 듣고 푸딩의 가격으로 알맞은 것을 고르세요. Did you enjoy your dinner? Yes, it was very good. What's the total? It's $80. That much? Let's see. One vegetable soup and one mushroom soup come to $10. And you ordered chicken salad, seafood spaghetti, and sweet potato pizza. That's $60. Then the total should be $70. I think there's a mistake on this bill. However, ma'am, you also had our special Italian cream pudding for dessert. Oh, I'm sorry. I totally forgot about that. Well, then the bill is correct, right? Yes, here is $80. 14번입니다. 대화를 듣고 남자가 도시를 떠난 이유가 아닌 것을 고르세요. Look who's here. Long time no see. How have you been? I just moved back home. What happened? I thought you were enjoying life in the city. It wasn't for me. I hated the traffic jams and the noise there. Oh, I see. I always thought of life in the city as exciting. Well, It was costing me a lot to enjoy an exciting life since the cost of living is much higher than here. If I were you, I think I would take the opportunity to drive around the city to visit all the interesting places. Driving around alone in a car? You want to create more air pollution? 
That is one of the reasons why I left. I was born and raised in a small town, so I hope to live in the big city someday. I'm looking for a computer desk. Anything good on that internet shopping site? Let's have a look. Oh, here's one for $80. It's made of light metal. I don't like the cold feeling of metal. Then here's another one for $120. It looks quite big, and it's made of solid oak. I like the color and the material, but it's too expensive. Do you think so? How much are you willing to spend? Up to $100. What color are you looking for? I want something light in color. Let's see. How about this one? It looks perfect. I'll take it. 16번과 17번 문제는 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 알맞은 것을 고르는 문제입니다. 16번입니다. Hello. Hello, mom. This is Tom. I just arrived in New York. Tom, how are you doing? I'm fine. It's unusually cold here. Oh, be careful not to catch a cold. Yes, I will. Don't worry. What time is it there, Tom? It's 10 o'clock here. Were you in bed? Yes, I was. And it isn't 10 o'clock here. It's 3 o'clock in the morning in London. Oh, I am sorry. 17번입니다. Hi, Tony. Hi, Grace. I've been looking for you. For what? We are having a party on Saturday. Would you like to come? Saturday? What time? Oh, we're starting at about 6 in the evening. I'd like to, but I don't think I can make it. Oh, Tony, please. I invited all my club members, and they all said yes. I really want to be there, but I'm supposed to meet my friend Robert at that time. Why don't you bring him? 18번과 19번 문제는 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 알맞은 것을 고르는 문제입니다. 18번입니다. Have you read this article? No. What is it about? It says that polar bears are in danger. Really? Why is that? Because of global warming. I said the North Pole is melting and their habitat is shrinking. Is there anything we can do? Well, a scientist proposed that we colonize polar bears in the South Pole. Moving them to the South Pole? Isn't it against the law of nature? Right. 19번입니다. Jack, stop playing on the computer. I'm busy doing my homework. Don't lie. I saw you checking your email and sending instant messages. I'm mainly studying, though. How is that possible? It's like eating dinner while watching TV. But studying is different from eating or watching. In what way? 20번입니다. 다음을 듣고 이 상황에서 민호가 산초의 어머니에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르세요. 
One day, Minho was invited by his Mexican friend Sancho for dinner. After Minho finished eating, he wanted to thank Sancho's mother for the delicious Mexican meal. Minho smiled and made an OK sign to tell her how good her cooking was. Sancho was surprised and his mother seemed rather angry with Minho. Sancho immediately explained to Minho that the OK sign is considered very rude in Mexican culture. In this case, if you were Minho, what would you say to Sancho's mother?